we are looking at a question and answer in web testing list down the key web application testing technique so we have standard testing technique that we apply to test any web application first is our functional testing this will include the link testing the form validation the search operation if any and the navigation testing then comes the security testing this will include the authorization check for secure pages verify the access control and the user making direct entry to the internal page or redirecting to say login page we check if the session expires after it maintains idle or remains idle for a pre defined time and also testing the virus attacks the database testing which includes verifying the data integrity on creating updating or deleting data in the database we obtain a correct result on executing heavy queries retrieving the data from the database and whether they are represented with dynamic uh, creation of html through the database on the web pages they are correct or not then the performance testing we try to check response times of application under different speeds of connections verify if site handles various simultaneous concurrent user interface at the same time and check how the site handles large input data from users and check how the site pulls through if at all a crash occurs due to a peak load and uh, one more thing there are some which ensure a good user interface that is the usability testing this include the navigation testing to verify that the menus links buttons on web pages move to the correct pages content testing to identify all the spellings and grammatical errors present on the page then the compatibility testing we have various browsers os so we need to see the verification of os compatibility the browser compatibility and mobile browsing then comes the interface testing because this system or web application is not single not uh, stand alone it includes various layers or tiers so this verifies the communication towards all the three servers the web the application and the database server whether they are working fine or not check if any request interrupts in between then how the application is responding handle any error from web or database server to the application server and display the correct error message to the user now list the main differences between the client server the web and desktop application what are the difference the desktop application the application runs in single memory with front end and back end in one place it has single user only client server application the application runs on two or more machine it is manual driven works in a corrected mode this means connection can exist until logout and it has a limited number of users it has less number of network issues as compared to the web application web application the application run on two or more machine it is url driven it uses a web browser as the client interface works in disconnected mode that is stateless it has an unlimited number of users it may the server may run on one or two machines but the client may run on number of users so it has many issues like the hardware compatibility browser compatibility version compatibility security issues and performance issues how can you tell few scenarios or tell few scenarios for testing web application while testing a web application we need to consider certain things first we need to verify the functionality that means we want to test the links which may include internal link external link the main links the broken links form validation which may include field validation display error message for certain wrong input verification of optional or mandatory fields then comes the database we test for the database integrity cookies these are these are for you know uh, like a proxy and for session management the testing will be done on the client system side on the temporary internet files performance verification performance testing can be applied to understand the website's scalability or to benchmark the performance in the environment of third party product say such as servers and middleware for potential purchase the connection speed testing done on various networks it may be dial up it may be as in it may be broadband it may be some 4g network load a huge number of users accessing this statement at the same time concurrent access by many people check for peak loads and how the system behaves when this peak loads exceeds the level which a system can take 
a large amount of data accessed by a user on the net of course stress we apply continuous load on the system and we see and we try to make this system or application reach to its entirety or to its failure we verify the performance of the memory cpu and file handling then comes the usability the characteristics of the system which are measured is the ease of use the navigation from one page to another the content completeness correctness with respect to typographic error to with respect to the correctness of the content and the general appearance the color the font etc the server side interface to verify the communication is proper on this interface we test the compatibility of the server with software hardware network and the database then the client server side compatibility testing is done on the different platforms using various browsers and see whether the these browsers are compatible with this system or not security security test we check for the network vulnerability scanning password cracking log review integrity checkers and virus detection what are the different configurations which tester should consider while testing a web application there are various factors which need to be considered first is hardware platform because different users may use different platform like some may use mac some are interested in linux some are fond of microsoft browser the layout of the web browser changes on the different browser also the browser version and the plugins are other important factors the resolution of the monitor along with the color depth and the text size is the part of the configuration what is the different or uh, difference between the authentication and authorization in web testing so the difference is authentication is the process which empowers the system to identify the user while the authorization happens when the once the author is been or the person is been authenticated the authentication ensures that the user is indeed a valid user of who he claims to be while authorization system will decide which particular task which particular resources which particular functionality is available to the authenticated user there are different ways of doing authentication like password based device based authorization can be of read only read write or both difference between the static and dynamic website static website contains web pages that are fixed content that is in dynamic website content the web page will change with respect to the user engagement user request and the response from the server it's not difficult to build a static static website as we don't require that uh, database so often but developing a dynamic website requires a good programming resource the database knowledge and the interactions a static website doesn't support user communication and is as it just displays the same information each and every time whereas in the case of the dynamic website user may communicate with each other they may give or request some input and on the basis of their input or the event the response will come in the desired format what is xss cross site scripting cross site scripting is a threat in the dynamic website it is also known as xss it offers when web application gathers malicious data from users data collection happens in a hyperlink form which contains malicious content within so it allows insertion of malicious code into the web page the web page can be a simple html code or say a client side script say a user accidentally clicks on a web page containing the malicious code then that code becomes a part of the web request of the user this request can also execute on the user computer and they it may you know cause disaster what are the necessary actions for securing a new web server so what what you need to do being a what uh, you are assigned to being a tester limits the use right as per their rules update user permission for resource required clean default data and uh, scripts attached on the server or stack on the server user software firewall on the server enable and make use of iis logging take regular backups what is field validation in web testing field validation is done to ensure that user enters only correct data into the fields present on any web page you can select a variety of validation options that depends on the type of data user may enter into the field so we can also ask that to dis uh, to display an error message in the proper format if the user enters an incorrect value for instance you can set an option to make it mandatory for user to enter a value if the field else an error message may come for example this can be an email format it should contain some content here and then the at the rate and then the domain.com what are different tools that we use for web testing we have certain tools now jmeter is there mainly for load and performance testing 
It is a Java desktop application which is used to create a load test environment. It measures the performance of the application testing during the load test and it is also capable of testing the performance of both static as well as the dynamic website. Selene, web app testing tool, it is a framework for automated testing of web application. It's not just a single tool but a suite of software such each catering to different testing needs. Its components include the Selenium IDE, Selenium Remote Control, Selenium Web Driver, and Selenium Great Examine and evaluate the web application. We also have now CDMRC Web Driver that have merged into Selenium 2. Do you know about the type used for analyzing HTTP traffic? Yes, we often need to track the HTTP request that flows from the browser to the downstream web server. By probing the network traffic, we can get to the details of each request and response and cross verify. Next, many tools are available in the market for monitoring the web traffic. Uh, we can name some of these Wireshark. It is to check all data that passes through the network. Fiddler. It is more useful for analyzing the HTTPS only traffic. Live HTTP headers. It's a Firefox add on which helps for previewing the HTTP headers. Firebug. It's the most popular Firefox uh, plugin which can monitor AJAX. Asynchronous JavaScript and XML. This transaction, though its essential feature is to fetch the web element locator. Browser mob proxy. It adds additional functionality into the Selenium web driver for running automated tests. What are the tests that you will run for testing? A login form which uses a web surface for authorization. Now you are using you are being asked about the web service. So but for testing such a use case. We need to verify both the web service and the login test form. So we can design test cases like this. Web service testing. First of all, we'll cover the testing of web service API for input and output validation. We'll execute cases including validate, valid or invalid username password combination as well as verify the correct error messages. Then login user interface testing. And the result link resulting, there will be a test for login web page to check the location of the display of error, messages like the color and the font. Also, if the login page uses any JavaScript or cookies, then we'll add cases to test the application functionality. What are the important aspects of web testing? Functionality testing, which includes the validation, search operation, link testing, navigation testing, security testing, authorization, authentication, access control, and virus attacks, database testing. This includes the data integrity, the data manipulations, and data retrievals, performance testing. This will include all types of performance like the load testing, stress testing, spike testing, endurance testing, and data volume testing. Usability testing. Navigation, easy navigation, look and feel, including the colors, the alignments, and the fonts. The navigation testing, configuration testing, compatibility testing, reliability testing, availability testing, and scalability testing. What is cookies testing? A cookie is a small piece of information that is sent by a web server to store on a web browser so it can later be read back from the browser. This is useful for having the browser remember some specific information. For example, session control. Session control is done with the cookie. How to perform web service testing? A web service is a service accessed via web. The web service is a way to publish your application over web and enable other applications to access functions defined by your web service. Web service exposes an interface defined in web services de description language, WSDL. How to test web forms manually using UFT, that is QTP, formerly QTP tool. Web forms validation, they can be done in two types. First is field level verification or validation. The other is form level validation. We use the black box test casing, uh, test design techniques. We can test web forms manually using conditional test and building uh, functions. We can test web forms using UFT. What are possible configurations that could affect the testing strategy of any website? Possible configurations that affect the testing strategy of any website are hardware platform, browser platform and version, browser plugins, browser setting options, video resolution, and color depth with the text size. What are the latest web technologies do you know? There are three web tracks basically. You know? First is your say Microsoft ASP.NET track plus SQL Server database engine. Where ID is the integrated development environment is your expression web and visual studio. Now the other track is Oracle Java track plus Oracle database engine. We have NetBeans and Eclipse for this. Then we have PHP and MySQL database engine. For this we use Zend Studio and Dream Viewer. 
there are many new concepts and enhanced methodologies like AJAX, the jQuery, the JSON and so on. What types of web testing security problems do you know? The types of web testing security problems are denial of service attack, buffer overflow. What types HTTP response codes do you know? The types of HTTP response codes are 2xx that means success, 3xx means redirection, 4xx some, some client error and 5xx means the server errors or related to server. What is the difference between a client server and web testing? The difference is in client server you have two different components to test. Application is loaded on a server machine while the application exe on every client machine. So you will test broadly the categories like GUI on both sides. The functionality, the load, the client server interaction, and the backend. This environment is mostly used in intranet networks. You are aware of number of clients and servers and their location in the test scenario. Web, web application, on the other hand, is a bit different and somewhat complex to test as testers don't have that much control over the application. Application is loaded on the server whose location may or may not be known. And no exe is installed on the client machine. You have to test it on different web browser. The web application are supposed to be tested on different browser and OS platform and so broadly web application is tested mainly for browser compatibility and operating system compatibility, error handling, static pages, backend testing and load testing. So these are a few more questions on your web testing. We'll be taking more. Thank you so much. Take care.